In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fund your Phantom Solana wallet with more Solana or maybe even more USDC. So firstly, the reason why we would use an exchange as opposed to buying in the application like what we just did is likely because we lose money here, not with the fees, but with a bit of the exchange rate. But MoonPay is very easy, very good. But if we're going to be doing $1,000 or something quite large, we may want to use an exchange like Binance. Also, Binance and Coinbase, they allow us to send funds back to them, convert them into fiat currency like Australian dollars, British pounds, US dollars, euros, and send them back to our normal government bank accounts. And finally, if you don't like those exchanges, just go to coingecko.com, scroll on down and find Solana, then scroll on down a little bit further and have a look at the Solana markets. Click on see all trading pairs. And these are some of the exchanges where you can actually buy and sell Solana. As an example, Kraken is quite popular in Portugal. If we click on Kraken, CoinGecko gives us a trust score. So this is 10 out of 10. If I have a look at other crypto exchanges, you can see the trust score here. And then if we scroll right on down, you can see some centralized exchanges such as these or this one, and they have a low trust score. So I prefer to use a trust score of nine or 10. So let's have a look at signing up to Coinbase. The website is coinbase.com. And sometimes there may be referral links that will give you a little bit of extra crypto to get you started. Then you go get started and you add your details here. Sebastian, Montgomery, your email address, don't spam me, put in a password. I recommend using a good password manager, such as 1Password, create a password, and continue on, save it here, etc. Do the capture and create a free account. Then you have to verify your email. So click on the link, select yes for some spam that may be helpful or no for nothing. And then we have to add a mobile number. Put in your mobile number and send code. Add in your verification code, submit. And then you go with your citizenship. I'm not Portuguese, but we'll go with this as it's just a tutorial. From here, you verify your identity, putting in your date of birth, street address, Normal funds like this, investing, source of funds, occupation, employment status, hopefully you're employed. And then you continue. After that, you'll have to provide some government ID to verify your identity. This is known as the KYC process. Know your customer. It's compulsory. It's mandated by government law in different countries. After you've successfully signed up, you can then buy crypto. So as an example, you can go buy and sell. You can select your crypto. So we'd go with Solana pay with our AUD wallet, or we could add another payment method, such as your bank account or credit or debit card. I'm in Portugal now, but Australia used to be home for many years. You'll do that with your local bank, and then you can top up your wallet here. You can buy a small amount if you're starting out, $10, or maybe a larger amount. And then in the future, when you want to sell, you can go to sell. I could sell all of my Bitcoin here for $54.45, paying fees, etc., and then I would get some Australian dollars. For specific help with deposits, you have to reach out to Coinbase support. Now, how do we get Solana to our wallet? We just go to send and receive. We're going to be sending Solana. So we select our Bitcoin and we change it to Solana. Then we can put in the mobile email or address. The mobile or email only relate to if you're sending it to someone that has a Coinbase account. The address is what we want. So we need to get the address here. So we go up to our Phantom wallet. And this is our tutorial account. We go up to the top. And we can just click on this copy button and this will copy the address automatically. If you want to see the address, just click on either deposit and Solana and it will show you the address here as well as a QR code. Or you can just click on Solana and deposit like this. I like to copy it this way. We'll click copy, then come back here. We'll paste the address. We'll add an amount. We can either add an amount like this. So this is 50 US dollars or we can click on Sol and change it. So let's say five sol. You can put a note if you want, tutorial demo, then click continue. And before we click send now, we always go back to our wallet. We click on deposit and Solana, and we always double check the first four characters and the last four characters. We can see they're completely correct. We only ever copy and paste. We never ever freehand type ever because if there's something wrong with this address, we will lose the crypto and we won't be able to get it back. Now we can click send now and we can add our code from our Authenticator app. You would have set this up when you started your account. It's common to use Google Authenticator. This transaction usually takes a few seconds. Well, it's been a few seconds, so let's have a look. I can go to the transactions tab and here it is, five sol. 
So that's how we can receive crypto from Coinbase. We can also receive other tokens as well. Send and receive. We could also send USDC. However, I don't have any USDC, as we can see. So what I have to do is I have to buy some first. In this example for this tutorial, I'm going to take a little bit of Solana, just like $10 worth, and I'm going to convert it into USDC. You can search here or just select here. Convert that, and I lose around 21 cents. Convert, we're good. Now we'll go back to send and receive. We'll change this to USDC, and we can add in our address. So once again, coming back to Phantom, and then we can go up and copy our address. It's actually the same address for every crypto token in this wallet. And if you want to verify that, we can just go deposit, search for USDC, click on USD coin, and we can see it's the exact same address. We'll copy that, paste it in. We'll send all available. Add a note for your accounting purposes. Continue and it will recognize the network as being Solana. You can have USDC on numerous networks out there, such as Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, etc. There's a very, very small fee, five cents. And as usual, we go back to Phantom, of course, and we double check. Deposit, Solana, check the first four and the last four characters. It's good, send now. Authenticator app, and that's done. Now, what if we wanted to send Ethereum? If we go to send and receive, and have a look at Ethereum, ETH. If we paste it in, it says invalid email, phone, or address. Ethereum does not exist natively on the Solana blockchain. In another tutorial, I'll show you how you can buy Ethereum on the Solana blockchain, but it's not possible to get it from Coinbase, nor is it possible to send it to Coinbase. Same goes for many cryptos, such as Bitcoin, and all of these ones you see here, Bitcoin Cash, XRP, Litecoin, etc. Now, what about receiving crypto tokens? Well, let's click on send and receive and then receive. We'll change Bitcoin, of course. We'll go with USDC at first. And then it says you can receive USDC on multiple networks. As we're new, let's keep this pop up here for a few times, okay? Click got it and let's change the network. USDC works with Polygon, Avalanche, Optimism, and Solana. Here we have our choices. We'll select Solana. Make sure you're sending it over the right network. I understand. And this is my USDC address. You'll have your own USDC address, so don't make any mistakes and don't send me any of your USDC. Now we can copy the address, go back to our Phantom, find our USD coin, click send, and now paste in the address. Remember, never ever freehand type this. Always copy it and paste it. You can check every character and make sure it's all correctly capitalized. It is case sensitive, but as a minimum, I always check the first four characters you can see that's correct. And the last four characters, T, capital Z, capital Z, nine. And then we can just put in the amount of USDC, one, two, five, whatever, or click max, then click next and click send. Two seconds later, we've sent it out of our wallet and we've sent it to this wallet. It can take a couple of minutes or sometimes even hours to arrive into Coinbase. It arrives on the blockchain within seconds, but Coinbase has to credit it directly to your account. We'll do a quick refresh and we'll see if it's there. Search for an asset, USD coin. At present, it hasn't arrived, so it can take a few minutes. Now, what if we try to receive Solana? Receive Solana. And we have our sole address here. Once again, it's exactly the same. Coinbase can be a little bit different where they can give you different Solana addresses for different tokens. But in your Phantom wallet, one wallet has the same address for every token. So don't get that confused. Let's send some Solana. Send. Sol. Paste. Double check the first four and last four characters. Send one Sol. Next. And send. It's been sent within two seconds. We can see it in our recent activity, and then it can take a few minutes to come through to Coinbase. We can see my USDC, by the way, has arrived. In Coinbase, to see your history of transactions, just search for the token, we'll go to Solana, scroll on down, it will give us our balances. Let's have a look at our primary balance. And we can see right here, we received one Solana right now. Clicking on it will give us the date, the time, and a link to the blockchain, which we'll cover in other tutorials. Let's try one more thing with Phantom. Let's try buy Solana. We can do one sole, or we can click on this button and change it to USD. Maybe do like 50 USD, which is almost two sole. Next, and let's try Coinbase Pay. This will pop up and we have to authorize it. We can see we've got the money available. Preview send. Our address is perfect. Confirm. Our authenticator code. 
and we should see almost two extra soul in our wallet. There it is. And there it is. That's all for Coinbase. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Binance. Stay curious and we'll catch you in the next video.